Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. I've been doing DCS now for five years. How long have you been doing DCS RC? Probably seven or eight. Seven years, so we've got a lot of experience between us and we've just only found out that there's something called yard sticking. That is the ability to know how far we are away from a friend by using air-to-air TACAN. So this will work essentially in any jet that you can use TACAN on. So just for these examples, we've got an F-18, F-16, F-14. So you go in as a Falcon, I'll go in as a Hornet. So the the way we're going to do it is I am going to have a TACAN that is 63 less than RC's TACAN. Why 63? I'm not the foggiest. It's just the way it works. So if I were going to set the TACAN up in the Hornet, I'm going to go TACAN, I'm going to go channel 1, enter, transmit, receive. I'm going to be air to air because obviously this is air to air with my buddy. I'm going to turn on. Come on, turn on. Now, I'm going to turn on. If you can set yours up, RC, at 1 plus 63 equals 64, please. Done. Note that we've used X-Ray. Technically, you can use Yankee in some planes, but in some planes, Yankee doesn't work like the F-14 at the moment. So I suggest using X-Ray where possible. Okay, now I'm going to go to my, uh, my HSI, turn my TACAN on, and we can see now that I've connected to RC's plane and we're 16 miles away. Note that it does not give us a bearing or a heading to him. It just tells us the distance, which is still of tactical use. So you can see RC there and he is indeed 16 or 17 miles. Other considerations are you must obviously make sure that we don't conflict with any base codes. So if there's a tanker or a CV or a base within radio range, you've got to make sure you don't use that. So it's important we don't, for instance, use... Oh, that one doesn't have a TACAN. Let's try again. Uh, we don't want to use 96 X-ray for either of the codes that we're going to enter into our aircraft. And the use of this is tactically, I know how far away he is in a heads-up situation. So if I were to go to my SA screen, I can see where he is anyway in my SA screen. I can see that he's off to my 2, 3 o'clock. And if I were to make that soy and move the TDC over, I can see that it's at bra 3, 4, 5 for 19 miles. But the good thing about this is heads up. It's, you know, in a, in a tactical fight, I don't want to be heads down in my situational awareness to find out exactly where he is. I want to be heads up here. Note also that I believe with TACAN we can do three digit channels. So I could be, for instance, 100. He could be 163. That's all we've got to share at the moment. Uh, we can think it would be really useful in any kind of tactical PVP situation where you've got a wingman. Go and use it. Have fun. I hope I'll see you later.